Hey, hey, good morning everybody. This is uh, Larry Nelson. Just uh, getting ready to go do a little fun flight uh, here in the Yuma area, but since uh, most of you aren't familiar with summertime flying in Arizona, I figured I'd tell you a little bit about it. Number one, we do not fly in the afternoon. Why is that? Well, this time of year, afternoon temperatures can get uh, well above 115 degrees. So at 115 degrees, you really, really do not want to be in the air. Summit of Traffic Experiment, all 8, leave November, back taxiing runway 17 to the run up, Summerton. Alright, so let's head on down to the other end of the runway. Number two is actually thermals. So uh, for those of you who are in, uh, let's call it, less rocky portions of the country, uh, you'll feel a thermal every now and then. It might bump you up a little bit. In the summertime out here, the thermals will actually uh, throw you around a lot. So the craziest thing I've ever experienced was I was flying back from uh, Phoenix to Yuma, or from Phoenix to Yuma, and I had a thermal actually pick me up. Uh, I pulled the power off. I had the nose kind of pointing down. This was in a Cherokee 140. And I was still climbing at nearly 600 feet a minute. So I'll give you an idea of what the thermals out here can be like. This is, I guess, the third thing. Oil temperature on the ground becomes a little more critical. So, like right now, I'm flying. It's uh, just before 6 o'clock in the morning. And the reason I'm going now is, is when I got out to the plane, the oil temperature had a baseline temperature of 82 degrees. So. Just at startup, the oil's at 82. I've been running now for about, oh, three, four minutes, and the oil temperature is at 93. So, as you can see, the uh, ambient temperature does do a lot for uh, keeping the oil temperatures up, and that's why we need to uh, kind of expedite taxiing and get in the air to get a lot of that cooling taking place. Summerton traffic, experimental 8 Lima November, clear runway 17, Summerton. Uh, engine temperatures and engine performance really does a nosedive as a temperature climb. So, again, if you take all that into account, you can have a really fun time uh, flying in the summertime in Arizona. Summer in traffic, experiment all 918, living number, takes from runway 17, going to depart the area to the south, Summerton. Okay, clear final. And let's go. Well, pressure's good. All right, that looks good. Everything is in the green. All right, I think let's go do one of my favorite flights. Uh, just to end of a good morning flight, go up around the Colorado. I think I'm going to do it backwards this time. I'm going to go around Picacho Peak, drop down over the river, and come back. Now, flying through some of these mountain passes is uh, some of these mountain passes is a lot of fun. 
just not in the summertime because you get bounced around and just, you know, it, it ends up being a lot more unfun than fun. So what's interesting to me is um, every time I've, uh, I was building this plane, so, um, just to give you an idea, I've just sat there and you uh, move the controls around and you think, you know, someday, someday I'll be up there flying it. Well, this is what you're looking forward to. This is the motivation right here. Get up in the air and fly. And to get back to building. Because, uh, yeah, you know, you start out with a pile of parts and a project you think might be impossible. And then uh, one day all of a sudden you realize, wait a minute, I'm up in the air flying this thing that's in my garage for so many years. All right, there's Picacho Peak, right over there. I don't know if you can see in this camp or not, but it's sitting right there. Copy your cancellation of instruments. It would be nice to have a clearer day, but that means it wouldn't be as smooth, but get a better view of Picacho Peak right there. We're probably just a beautiful little spot just north of Yuma.